Hey there everyone and welcome back to the channel and I'd like to welcome everyone back to this week's episode of Daki Time. So on this week's episode we're going to try and answer a question that Red posted on my Discord page. Now this question is quite broad and um, I'm only going to hit a couple of classes and specs in this question but let's dive in and Let's see what Red really asks first, and then we'll go through this question. So Red asks, if you were to do a dungeon run with all characters of the same class, what do you think would be the hardest to do, and which would be the easiest? So this is a very broad question, and I would just like to promptly say that all classes in spec within World of Warcraft, even healers, have the potential to gang up five of the same class in spec and do a dungeon run, whether that be on a heroic difficulty or a mythic difficulty. However, it would come down to your playstyle, your talent setup, how skilled you are, and just how you utilize CC and stuns, etc., etc. So guys, with that said, what are the slightly easier classes and what are the harder classes? So let's begin with hard classes and, and, and or specs. And the first one off the bat is the Fury and Arms Warriors. Now Fury and Arms Warriors do have Victory Rush and Prot Paladin, uh, sorry, Prot Warriors obviously do have more damage reduction, but as it's stated on a lot of forums, it's simply not enough to keep the warrior alive if they pull massive packs. Um, so if you were to do a mythic dungeon, say solo as an Arms or Fury Warrior, sure you have Victory Rush and sure you have a couple of defensive abilities, but it's not enough that you can pull uh, significant packs solo or with five of the exact same class and spec to keep yourself alive long enough to do this. Um, now, I personally haven't played a warrior in BFA, so I can't comment personally on how they play, but uh, after doing some reading on the forums and looking through the tal talents and spells, it seems to be the case. So the next one that would be relatively hard to do would be a fire and or arcane mage. Now, fire and arcane mages do have a lot of tools up their sleeve when it comes to soloing five mans, but at the same time, they're very squishy. And unlike the frost mage, they have a harder time kiting and um, dealing damage while kiting. So it, it, it becomes evident that the fire and, and arcane mage is harder to do a five-man dungeon with five of the same class and spec um, than it does with the Frost Mage. So for that reason, the Fire and Arcane Mage become one of the harder classes to do this with, basically. So the next one along the list is the Holy Priest. Now, why would I put a healer on this list? And I know that they are a healer, but they do have damage abilities and they could potentially gain five Holy Priests together and do a dungeon. It is possible, but the thing with the Holy Priest is, is that it takes quite a long time to do this. And what would end up happening is that the damage taken versus damage uh, dealt and healing uh, uh, that you could potentially do, it, it doesn't weigh up. So you would take a good sort of two hours or so to do a dungeon, not to say I'm just round figuring here, but basically to do it as a Holy Priest, even though it is, it is possible, it would be significantly harder you would have to do, say, one out of the five Holy Priests becoming the healer, where the other four Holy Priests become the damage doers and run something like that. I mean, it is possible, but it is, well, relatively hard compared to some of the other classes on this list. So one of the last hard classes I'd like to point out is the Rogues. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, but hang on a minute, Rogues are taken a lot in Mythic Dungeons and they've got a great utility tool set. They do, they absolutely do. But if the rogue got stunned or ran out of CCs and blinds or did not pull effectively, rogues can go down quite quickly. They do have one self-heal and they do have cheat death, so they do have a quite couple of tool, uh, tool utility abilities. But when I get to the easy classes and specs, you'll see that rogues actually quickly run out of soloing ability or I should say like five of the same rogue in the one dungeon, especially if it's a mythic or a say a mythic key and you're trying to do five subtlety rogues or five outlaw rogues. It is again doable if you have a great team that works together and uses CCs and blinds and, and um, stuns and everything else correctly, but again can get out of hand relatively quickly as well. So with that said, they are my top four sort of picks for the harder classes and specs. I'm going to move on to the easier classes and specs. Now, I know a lot of you are thinking that there's so many more harder specs to do in this manner. There is, absolutely. And as you'll see, I've only pointed out a few of the easier specs. So if I miss a class or spec, guys, 
don't don't worry. It's uh, it's not that you guys can't do this. It's just that I'm picking out some of the some of the harder and easier ones. So moving on to the easier classes and specs that could potentially solo a dungeon in a mythic environment or potentially get five of the same class. And the first one off the bat is the prot paladin. If you had five prot paladins. It'd be easy. It would be relatively easy. I mean, the amount of bubbles, the healing, the more bubbles, the more healing again that you could possibly do as a prop paladin, um, it's it's insane. So you could get five prop paladins and relatively quickly take down a dungeon. It would take a little bit longer, you know, on say tyrannical bosses as an example, if you were to really do a key with five prop paladins. But it is again quite quite easy and possible with the prop paladins so the next one is the druids now have you ever remembered you know dealing damage to a druid in pvp taking the druid down to 10 health and then all of a sudden you blink and they're back up to 80 hp well yes druids have a lot of self heals and they have a great kiting potential if you're in feral um so relatively speaking if you went say five druids in a dungeon or five feral druids in a dungeon yes you would take a bit of damage but you've all got so many heals you could heal each other you could heal yourselves i mean it is quite canny how much heals a druid can really put out not to mention you do also have damage reductions and such stacked on top of that so done right you could do it i mean you've got um your roots as well you can you can cc mobs so realistically a druid would be a very easy way of doing a five man dungeon with the five same spec and class so another one is the hunters and as we've seen in my past video doing a mythic dungeon with five hunters is kind of easy i mean we muck up and we do silly pulls but at the end of the day it's easy i mean you could go any spec in the hunter and you could do exceptional kiting potential and not to mention you've got a pocket tank with your pet so simply done the hunters are the well, one of the easier ones to do a five-man dungeon in this manner so another one is quite possibly the Blood Death Knight. Now, personally, I have soloed many, many Legion Mythic Dungeons, even a plus two, and I've soloed it with relative ease. Sure enough, it does take a little bit of time, but it is not difficult. It is actually quite easy with a Blood Death Knight. And imagine all those years ago, back when ICC and Cata was out, and we had a 25-man raid of Blood Death Knights taking down Deathwing. Yeah. It's a possibility. It can happen. So in BFA, I've only tried and attempted a couple of Mythic solo runs. So I can personally say just soloing a Mythic uh, dungeon with a Blood Death Knight by myself is easy. I could easily imagine that five Blood Death Knights would be super, super easy. So Blood Death Knight would have to be up on this lift with the amount of healing potential that Blood Death Knight does. So... There is a couple of classes and specs read. I hope I've answered the question with the easiest and hardest. Now, it, like again, guys, if I've missed your class and spec that you play predominant, it does not mean that you can't go in as five of the exact same class or spec and solo or you know do the dungeon in a mythic environment or even a mythic two or such you can still 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 do it these are just my picks for the hardest and easiest classes look guys i would like you guys to enter in the comment section down below what you think the hardest and easiest classes are in world of warcraft to solo dungeons in this way guys thank you so much for coming and watching this video all the links to everything you need to know are in the description down below and until next time have a great day